Hello everyone, today we're going to review the 10K Zensorium Wellness Monitor. As you can see right here, it's a, a kind of an innovative product that allows you to um, determine your Vita or Zen level, um, both, um, with the use of an app for your iPhone or iPad and this neat little plug-in for your, uh, your iPad or iPhone. Now, a couple things, this is the 30 pin connector, which I'll show you right here. So uh, if you have a lightning connector, on your iPhone, this isn't going to work, so keep that in mind. Unless you have a, an adapter for it. If you do have an adapter, then it'll work. So you'll have to plug in the Tinky into your iPad or iPhone, then download the app, and then uh, we'll show you how it works from that point forward. Okay, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit. This is kind of tricky to film. But uh, what you do is you can't see it here. I'll make it maybe a little easier. I'm going to go to the Tinky, Tinky app. Start it up, and then you'll see that the light um, starts emitting. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just put my thumb on the switch, and we measure. Now, you'll see the graph, and then up here you actually have thumb pressure. Now, what you're going to find is the amount of thumb pressure that you have is critical. And you're going to want to find a way to be as consistent as possible because that is how the 10K is able to be accurate. Now, what you see it with right now is it's kind of jumping all over the place. So I'm not going to get a real accurate uh, reading. And uh, that's because, again, of how I'm trying to film this and set it up. So now you can see uh, it shows that I'm at 68 beats per minute for my heart. My uh, respiratory, uh, I'm breathing at 12 beats per minute. And I'm running at about 97 oxygen level for an overall Evita of 85, which you would expect is pretty good. However, I can tell you for sure that my uh, heart rate is actually a little bit above 68. I measured it right before doing the review, and I'm actually in the low 80s. So now I'm going to try to do it while not filming and show you uh, again how there are some changes in the accuracy. Okay, I ran it one more time, and... Uh, you can see that my Vita is much lower, and I'm at 87 beats per minute, which might be a little high, but uh, uh, I recently drank a bunch of caffeine, so it might not be too far off. Um, but again, you do get some variety in your readings uh, based on t the 10K. So uh, you're going to have to learn how to uh, find the a consistent pressure that you put toward it in order to get the accurate readings that you're going to want. So this is just Vita. Now, there's also a mode here for uh, just measuring your overall Zen. Now... We'll, we'll go to that. Now, one of the things about these menus is they're kind of tricky. You don't just tap them. You tap and hold. So now we'll do Zen. And again, you have to tap and hold for measure. And you'll see, I'll put my thumb on it. And this takes one minute. So, And this is to kind of monitor how your breathing is and how much... Um, your, your level of Zen. So I'm not going to record this because this will be pretty dull and actually by recording it, it will uh, affect my overall Zen level. So with that, I'm going to pause it. Okay, so why would you even want to use this device? Why use a 10K? Uh, well, first of all, it's good to know at what times a day you might have more stress. When your heart rate may go up, when you uh, when your overall um, your Zen if you will, um, is affected. And, and so you can tr address those areas of your day and the stress levels to try to improve your overall health, both in terms of your your uh, aerobic health and even some of your, your, your mental conditions so that you're not overstressed. It will also help you uh, realize if, if you are being successful in bringing down your heart rate. Um, so it's a great way to monitor your, your, your overall health and uh, kind of keep track of it. There are some social uh, features within the 10K that lets you share your, your progress with some of your friends and, and, and set up a kind of a social account with it. So again, it, it's kind of nice. It's a kind of a fitness monitor that you can, uh, you can plug into your daily life. Um, it, is, uh, it does work for 30-pin uh, devices for iDevices, your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch. But also if you have a lightning connector, you can, you can use it for some of the newer devices as well. Um, there are some drawbacks. We talked a little bit about how it does crash about one out of every three times um, the uh, 
the application does crash, so there's some areas to improve that. And it, especially initially, it's tough to get the right thumb pressure um, on this little guy, so keep that in mind. It, it, and finally, it's really not that cheap. It's a, a new way to measure your health in the 21st century, but uh, it does come at a, a pretty steep price at about $120. Now, there are no additional add-on fees or subscriptions you have to pay for, so I do like that. But uh, overall, it's an interesting concept, and uh, it might not be for everyone, but uh, if you want to use something to kind of monitor, again, your daily health, it's definitely worth looking at. So I'd give it four stars, and uh, I need to bring my heart rate down. Thanks.